Welcome to Fun with Deep Drilling Engineering. When we are drilling deep down into the earth to assess an oil or gas reservoir or geothermal heat, there's always a chance that we unexpectedly heat hydrocarbons on our way. And in the worst case, this may result in a blowout at the surface, in which gas or oil erupts and even catches fire and explodes. Such a blowout must of course be prevented in any case. The good thing about such a scenario is that no blowout happens out of the blue. Before a blowout can occur at the surface, a so-called kick must enter the borehole from the bottom. A kick is an unintended influx of water, oil or gas from the formation into the bottom of our borehole. And of course, such a kick needs to move up the surface before it can catch fire at the surface. The earlier a kick at the bottom of the borehole is recognized, the easier the situation can be handled. If there is a suspicion that a kick is in the borehole, the driller switches off the pumps and checks to see what happens. If nothing happens, all is well. But if mud is still coming out of the borehole despite the mud pump being turned off, then it is time to react. Something is obviously wrong in the well. First of all, the driller must quickly get an overview of the situation and assess how dangerous the kick is. We can perhaps explain how this works with an example from our kitchen. We have all seen when a pot of milk or soup boils over like this. To stop it, we should of course turn off the stove. But in principle, we could also stop the overflow by placing a tight lead on the pot. With such a lead in place, nothing can flow out. But of course, the pressure in the pot will still increase. We all know this. In a deep borehole, it's exactly the same. If there is a kick situation with an overflow, we can close the well by using the blowout preventer. With the blowout preventer closed, the well is sealed at the top, but the pressure increases both in the borehole annulus and in the closed drill string which is still in the borehole too. The driller now observes these pressures, the drill string pressure and the annular pressure. The corresponding pressure gauges are found on the panel which is used to operate the blowout preventer. These pressures, the one in the drill string and the one in the annulus, are different from each other because the drill string and the annulus contain different fluids. In the drill string, we have just the drilling mod. In the annulus, there is the drilling mod and the kick. That's why the two pressures are different from each other. Now here's the trick. If we take the measured pressure values and apply some simplified assumptions, then we can estimate the kind of kick in the borehole. We just need this simple formula you can see behind me and a calculator to determine the pressure gradient of the inflow. Let's call the pressure gradient GZ, as you see behind me. The pressure gradient is something similar to the density. If the result of our calculation is that the kick in the annulus has a high pressure gradient, then we know that the density of the kick is also high. And a high density of the kick means that it is most likely our kick is a liquid, like water or crude oil. Liquid kicks are not that dramatic, they can be handled easily. However, if the calculated pressure gradient is very small, then a gas bubble is coming towards us from below. And that is the most dangerous case, as gas is very explosive. So we have learned that with these calculations, the driller can estimate how dangerous a kick situation is. And with this knowledge, it is easier to choose the appropriate procedure to get the situation under control again. The driller passes these standardized Q procedures regularly in any of our drilling schools around the world and is well prepared and trained for such incidents. We also cover the topic of well borehole control in detail in our lecture, Drilling Engineering 1, here at TUBAC Academy Freiburg. And I would like to invite everyone who is interested to visit us in our lecture room and have a look. We really look forward to seeing you. Look off.